come closer together as a result of the, of the events this, this year. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of the programme for today, Zakla. Okay, Zakla. Uh, we're joined by His Excellency Melvin Chalaba, Chalaba mm-hmm. uh, the High Commissioner of Sierra Leone. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the House of Commons. Thank you. I hope you've enjoyed the programme. Um, what are your thoughts about uh, the address uh, as the middle moment in Cliff Almasi Khamis gave, uh, especially in relation to um, justice uh, that needs to be uh, carried out throughout the world? Yeah, I think uh, it went down very well. I was particularly impressed. I think the message was timely. The Holiness uh, emphasized the question of peace, peace in the world, justice and fairness, and drew our attention to uh, averting a major war in the world. It dealt with contemporary issues like the financial situation that the world faces today and uh, also drew nations' attentions to their responsibilities. So I think this went down very, very well, and I think it's timely. I'm joined by Councillor Peter Southgate. Uh, welcome, uh, Peter. I know you've come to many of our functions in Islamabad, the Jalsas, and you're also Councillor where Bethel Fatu, our mosque, is based. Um, welcome to the Houses of Parliament. This is a very special program during the centenary year. Um, can you tell us a little bit about uh, what your impressions have been so far of this uh, program and uh, what it means to you? Well, it, I mean, certainly, I think it's the first for you to be in the, the House of Commons here, isn't it? But, uh, I mean, this is really, I've attended a number of events relating to the centenary of the Caliphate this year and um, particularly in the, the conference centre just across the road, uh, which was attended by many important uh, dignitaries and, uh, and myself actually. Um, so it, it certainly has marked the, the centenary and I think in a very, very fitting way. I mean, the House of the Parliament is central to British culture and, uh, you know, British folks. Uh, how do you see the Amdia community fitting in within your locality and within the UK here uh, with having the presence for this particular function here? Yes, the, uh, as you know, the, the, the mosque is situated within my, my ward of Merton Park. And I, I do think one of the most far-sighted things your community ever did was to set up a liaison group with the neighbours, the immediate environment, I mean, long before you know, the first brick and the first footings went in, and that, I chair that liaison group, it's been in existence for, I think, more than 10 years now, actually, uh, and it's always ensured that the mosque enjoys a harmonious relationship with, with its neighbours, and, and that they understand what, uh, what goes on, and, and generally are, are, are very welcoming, I think, of the, of the community. So. And how do you think relationships are in the borough as well, where the mosque is based, and the efforts that are being made by the community to uh, involve others? Well, uh, I mean, would that all sectors of the Muslim uh, population were as uh, inclusive as you, and, and, and in fact as, as aware of the need to project the, if I can call it the positive image of Islam, the fact that it is an inclusive religion, peaceful and, and preaches a, mes- mes- you know, a message of love and, and not hate. Uh, you, you do that very well. well. It's lovely to hear those positive comments from you. Enjoy the rest of the function as well. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Uh, we're joined by His Excellency Mr. James Wright, the High Commissioner for Canada. Uh, welcome, Your Excellency. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm honoured to be here. Um, you've heard the address of the head of our community. This is a very special year. What are your thoughts and uh, reflections on what he said and uh, how the audience uh, uh, reflected on his thoughts? Well, I think uh, the audience was, uh, was honored to be here, uh, honored to listen uh, to His Holiness. I know in Canada we have a very strong uh, Ahmadiyya community, 20,000 uh, strong. Uh, the values that underpin uh, the uh, Ahmadiyya community are values that Canadians strongly adhere to. Uh, respect, understanding, 
uh, tolerance, freedom of religion. Uh, successive Canadian governments uh, believe very strongly in these, in these values. Uh, I came here to say to His Holiness to pass on the very best wishes uh, from the Canadian Prime Minister Stephen Harper and from the uh, Minister of State for Multiculturalism uh, Jason Kenney, uh, both of whom are very close to the Ahmadiyya community. In fact, both were present in Calgary in the summertime for the opening of, the, I think, the first uh, a, a, and a very large new uh, Ahmadiyya mosque in the city of Calgary. The Prime Minister was delighted uh, to be there. And I know there are plans to build further mosques in, in Canada as well. So we are we're proud as Canadians to see the Ahmadiyya community so vibrant uh, and contributing in an important way to Canadian society. They are all excellent Canadian citizens. Similarly, uh, great strides have been made in the UK as well. You've heard how well the community yes. has got itself established. Any message for the listeners, because this broadcast goes to people throughout the world in different countries in the need to have tolerance in religious matters. I, I mean, I think the, uh, the words of His Holiness uh, uh, speak volumes. Uh, I, I only hope uh, that the broader international community is listening. Uh, the message of love, not hate, uh, respect, uh, understand each other, uh, to, uh, to appreciate the fact that there are many different religions uh, in the world today. Uh, that's uh, something to be welcomed, uh, to be supported, to be cherished. Uh, and so the words of, uh, at a time when the international community uh, sometimes is struggling uh, within itself, uh, I think the words of His Holiness uh, are words that bring comfort uh, and wisdom. And I hope that the international community is listening carefully. Well, we thank you for those kind and considerate words, and we hope you enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you very much for the kind invitation. It's been an honor to be here.